Okay, so this is the drone that has issue with the motor. So now let's start opening it. First, let's remove the props. Uh, then we have these screws here and we need a uh, flex screwdriver. So the cover is removed now. Uh, the motor cables are connected here. We have black and white connected for this one red so each of those so these two are uh, green and uh, blue and red blue and red and here is black and white and black and white so my plan is to remove that motor I'm removing that motor and placing it here so let's have a look here so this is also red this is also red so the connector the connectors are red is on the left side so if I turn this red is on the left side so red and blue. So here the blue is on the minus and here is blue on the minus. These are the same. So we have to make sure that we set that in the same way. Let's connect the wires first. Blue is on the right side as you can see. So this was cooled not properly. So this is done, let's uh, do the other side as well. So that piece is done. Now from this uh, mechanism that when I look at this here it, it seems that the motor have been inserted from the other side so motors have been inserted this way so I have to hold the motor with a plier and then pull it out you see the motor now have been ejected partially but I have to make sure that the wires are ready to be pulled so, so that's good the wires are ready. Again I need pliers because it will not work with hand. So that is good. Let's get the motor from the other side. Bring it out. Bring it with the plier. So, oh, this is this is a brushed motor. So when the wires pass, then you can force the motor or push it until it. So, from the height of this, I can see that that motor is also the same height, and it's good. And then it just goes underneath of this, because here we the screw have to sit and then that small part so these are the LEDs that makes light so we have to not So 
so the screwdriver will be the best option. On the left, on the left, on the red, on the left side. When soldering is done, we can insert this cable back into space, the available space that is there. On here as well. to make sure that the cable sits and doesn't abstract the casing. So this will not bind because it's flipped. Let me check it. It binds even flip position. Okay, that seems good. Now I'm just putting the bottom case so this has a small piece that has to be inserted there. So that is good. Here we have some spot, this was flat, now as you can see here we have some space, just push it, everything's done. Now let's put the screws back.